About 57 million tons of mangoes are produced globally, generating over $64 billion in revenue. This not only makes mangoes a delicious treat, but also a significant icon in the global agriculture and food processing industry. Interestingly, while mangoes originate from South Asia, where they have been cultivated for over 4,000 years, this fruit has traveled across continents and is now grown in over 100 countries, including the United States. Yes, American farmers have begun to join the mango production industry, and although the U.S. is not yet a leading producer, states like Florida, California, and Hawaii are increasingly developing their mango cultivation, with steadily growing outputs each year. So, how are mangoes grown in the U.S., and what makes mango cultivation special here? In this video, we will explore the entire process, from planting the trees to harvesting, and finally to the factory, where fresh mangoes are processed into the sweet mango juice we all love. Let's discover how modern farms in the U.S. produce over 100 tons of mangoes each season and bring this tropical fruit to the dinner tables of families. Let's get started. Mangoes are a crop that thrives in tropical climates. The Portuguese introduced mangoes to the Americas from where they spread globally. In the U.S., mangoes are increasingly popular. Although not a major producing country, states like Florida, California, and Hawaii, which have climates that are not too cold, have established large-scale mango farms. These farms utilize advanced agricultural techniques to meet both domestic and international demand. Cultivating and harvesting mangoes teaches farmers patience, as each mango tree takes about three years to mature and produce its first fruits. To grow the best mangoes, the primary factor is choosing the right land and ideal climatic conditions. Mangoes thrive in warm climates with high humidity and well-drained soil. At the farms we are exploring, farmers use two main planting methods, seed sowing and grafting. Grafting is preferred because it produces high-quality fruits that are uniform in size and flavor. After planting, mango trees require meticulous care. Farmers use drip irrigation systems to provide adequate water, and they regularly fertilize and control pests and diseases. Mango trees can grow up to 30 meters tall and live for over 300 years, producing up to 90 tons of mangoes each season. Mango trees typically flower in early spring, from January to March. They need wind and insects for pollination. Mango flowers are light, and the pollen is very small, easily carried away by the wind. However, insect pollination, such as by bees, enhances the success rate of pollination. Only about 1-2% to of the flowers on each cluster will develop into fruit. Young mango fruits take about 120 days to mature into ripe mangoes. Harvesting mangoes requires finesse and technique. For shorter trees, farmers can pick mangoes by hand to avoid damaging the fruit. For taller trees, they use long tools equipped with nets to gently pull the mangoes down without crushing them. The quality of mangoes is assessed right in the field, ensuring that only perfectly ripe fruits are chosen for processing. Mango harvesting is a meticulous process that demands high skill and keen perception from the farmers. To achieve the best fruit quality, farmers must have extensive knowledge about the timing of the harvest, the tools used, and techniques for handling mangoes right in the orchard to ensure the fruit remains undamaged. The mango harvesting process involves several careful steps, from determining the ripeness of the fruit to the methods of picking and post-harvest handling. Determining the ripeness of mangoes is the crucial first step. The timing of the harvest determines the quality of the mangoes, especially for those intended for export or processing. Each mango variety has unique characteristics regarding color and firmness when ripe. Typically, farmers determine ripeness based on changes in the skin color of the mango, shifting from green to yellow or red depending on the variety. Mangoes are usually harvested in the early morning or late evening when the weather is cooler to avoid high temperatures that can cause the fruit to spoil quickly. Harvesting during these cooler times of the day also helps reduce stress on the trees and fruits, thereby preserving the quality of the mangoes. For mango trees of low or medium height, farmers can pick mangoes by hand. This is the most common method because it protects both the fruit and the mango tree. When harvesting by hand, the farmer gently cuts the mango stem at an appropriate position 
to retain a small part of the stem, preventing the mango sap from flowing out and damaging the remaining fruit. For taller mango trees, farmers use long tools equipped with nets or baskets to pick mangoes without needing to climb the trees. These tools are designed to keep the fruit safe, preventing bruising or damage to the skin as the fruit falls. This technique requires the harvester to have skill and experience to avoid damaging the fruit or causing it to fall from a great height. During the harvesting process, mangoes are inspected right in the orchard to select fruits that meet the ripeness standards. Only mangoes that have the correct color, size, and shape are retained for further processing. Mangoes that are too small or do not meet market standards are sometimes used for juicing or processed into byproducts like mango jam or mango powder. This ensures that even less than perfect fruits are utilized efficiently, minimizing waste and maximizing the economic potential of the harvest. After picking, mangoes are gently placed into woven baskets, plastic crates, or cardboard boxes lined with padding to prevent bruising during transport from the orchard to the processing facility or market. This step protects the mangoes from mechanical damage as they move. In the orchard, mangoes may undergo a preliminary cleaning to remove dirt or residues. However, a more thorough cleaning typically takes place at the processing facility to ensure food hygiene before the mangoes are processed or packaged. This ensures that the mangoes are not only clean, but also safe for consumption. Maintaining high standards of food safety. With advancements in agricultural technology, many farms have started utilizing automated machinery for mango harvesting, especially on large farms or in areas with a high density of mango trees. Harvesting machines equipped with robotic arms or smart basket systems can pick fruit more quickly and efficiently, significantly reducing the time and labor required from farmers. This is particularly beneficial in large-scale operations where manual harvesting can be time-consuming and labor-intensive. After harvesting, mangoes are transported to modern processing facilities where they undergo various stages of handling to be ready for sale or export. The processing steps at the factory typically include the following. Upon arrival at the processing facility, mangoes are sorted based on size, color, and quality. Using smart conveyor systems and automated machinery, each mango is scanned to detect any imperfections. Mangoes that meet the highest quality standards move forward in the processing line, while those that do not meet the criteria are repurposed for other uses, such as juice production or other mango-based products. This automated system ensures precision in grading and helps maximize the use of every mango, minimizing waste while maintaining product quality for consumers. After sorting, the mangoes are thoroughly washed using high-pressure water jets to remove dirt and bacteria. This process ensures the fruit is clean and safe for further processing. Once washed, the mangoes are air-dried to prepare them for the next steps in the production line. This careful cleaning process is essential to maintain hygiene standards, especially for mangoes that will be sold fresh or processed into consumer products. If the factory processes mangoes for export or sale to the market, the mangoes will be directly labeled to clearly identify the origin and packaged to protect the mangoes during transportation to the supermarket. For mangoes that are pre-cut or intended for frozen products, modern machinery is used to peel the fruit. After peeling, the mangoes are sliced into smaller pieces or left whole if they are being sold fresh. This process is performed quickly and accurately, ensuring minimal waste and maximizing efficiency. The use of advanced equipment ensures that each mango is handled with precision, maintaining the quality of the fruit while preparing it for packaging or further processing. For mangoes that don't meet the standards for fresh sale, they are processed into juice. The mangoes are crushed and passed through a fine mesh to remove pulp and fibers. The juice is then pasteurized to ensure food safety and preserve the fresh, natural flavor of the mango. This process transforms less than perfect mangoes into a valuable product while maintaining high quality and safety standards for consumers. Next is the process of making frozen mango. 
Frozen mangoes are cut into small pieces and then treated using a blanching process to preserve their color and flavor. After blanching, the mangoes are quickly frozen to lock in freshness. Once frozen, they are carefully packaged to ensure that they maintain their quality during storage and transport. This method helps preserve the mango's natural taste and nutritional value, making frozen mango products a convenient and delicious option for consumers. At every stage of the processing journey, quality control is of utmost importance. From the fields to the factory, mangoes are carefully inspected to ensure the final product meets the highest standards. Mangoes destined for export undergo even stricter inspections to meet international standards. This comprehensive quality assurance process ensures that only the best mangoes make it to market, delivering consistent quality and satisfaction to consumers around the world. In addition, mangoes are also processed into dried mangoes in factories, also going through the same processes as frozen mangoes, but instead of being refrigerated, the mangoes are dried. So, we've explored the journey of the mango from farm to table. Every step in the production process requires precision, modern technology, and a deep respect for the fruit. Whether you're enjoying fresh mangoes, mango smoothies, or frozen mango desserts, remember the dedication of American farmers in bringing this tropical fruit to every household. What do you think about this production process? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos from us. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.